Would you put your hands together, please, for Dave Lardan? Thanks a million. Uh, invisible horses. You rode by every day on one of your invisible horses, making your way to school or home from school or wherever. The invisible horse I like to see you on the most was a mare of sixteen hands with hide river brown and dappled white and shimmering the way the black water shimmers as it canters past with the sunlight coming down on it in shreds like a tottering mirror through hollies and yew trees near Inishannon in a morning in winter. A long and pristine white mane fluttering at you like rapids. Eyes like eels' mouths. Hoofs that clattered tarmac at him like any legendary steed. Tiny phantoms rose then fell in the steam of your galloping heels. I remember your crazy mom as well. <laughs> your mother had a want in her that was bigger than her. Your mother was Ophelia withered and ten times drowned. She kept getting drowned in the depths of the night and coming up soaked true in her charity rags to that never-ending racket of swear words and coughing and wheezes and snorts in the caravan dawn. Your mother was a voodoo doll. Everyone she ever met drew needles tipped with shame and hate and jabbed them into her. Your father, your father was a paralytic and a shapeshifter. He'd weep with one eye open at the counter into bottled stout. Swear contrition to the barman, as if Georgie Best was on his deathbed, confessing to St. Peter. Next night, he'd be a show band on a tour that never stopped. Another dipso sorcerer, burning up the dance floor lino in the Emmett Hotel, reshaping himself with the powers of the alcohol. He'd morph into badly two-paid Johnny Cash <laughs> or creek-hipped Elvis. Your little brothers and your little sisters were skinny and pale and downcast and quiet and sometimes transparent. I see them now as changelings dropped in, on the losing side in an immortal war into these hostile, at best indifferent dimensions, maliciously or for concealment. No wonder I so often spied them trying to flicker out of our cruelty. I see them too as medieval stragglers, strung out beggars going village to village on a rope each one a suffering bead in the barbed wire rosary that circled their existences. Each one playing a role like hunger, penitence, misery, and doom. Extras in a traveling pageant they didn't understand, they didn't care for, to which they weren't quite committed. You you contradicted. You were love and you were rage. Imagination's crazy fate. All tomorrow's sustenance and glory. The undefeated forward flow of hope and all-inclusive energy. 
what was not there, but badly wanted, you created, and you are a totem, and a tower, and a deity to me. You used to whoop and lasso, as brazen and loud as you could from up front, as ye all went by together, all ye brothers and ye sisters, <coughs> and you, you, I see you, I see you, urging the smallest, the wheeziest, the last, whoever downhearted was falling behind, to get up and ride, get up and ride, get up and ride into the oncoming wind as hard as they could on one of your herd of, one of your herd of, one of your herd of invisible horses. Thank you. Ah!